Hey gang, welcome back to Executive Chef Catering Facebook page. Chef Ryan is on. Freaky Friday, actually we're on a frying Friday. I'm going to start our Thanksgiving week today and uh, do something a little funky. We're gonna free up your oven, give you plenty of room for the sweet potatoes, mashed potatoes, grandma's green beans, that brutalized coconut thing that your sister-in-law brings over because we're gonna cook our turkey on the stovetop. Come on in, show you how to do it. So we got like 11, 12 pound turkey here. Um, the idea is to immerse it in a bunch of oil and let it cook. Simple enough, right? It would be, except I got the chef thing going on. So we're gonna fancy it up just a little bit. Uh, now I saw a couple of recipes for marinating the turkey before frying it. And I said, all right, that's great. We like to add flavor. We're doing the chef thing, right? Um, a couple of them called for things like, you know, dump it in a, a bottle of Italian dressing. All right, first things first, while we're doing this, my team of lawyers told me to throw in the disclaimer. It's about the most dangerous thing you can do in a kitchen is fry stuff. You know, a knife, a, uh, oh, I got cut, a couple of stitches, you get by. This is bad, this is dangerous. Be very, very careful, folks. Once you make the commitment, you wanna put as little liquid in that oil as possible. So dumping a bottle of Italian dressing that's got a lot of vinegar and whatnot in it, not a good idea. What we're gonna do is a dry rub and we're actually gonna use some of this rub stuff to absorb some of the natural moisture that's in the turkey. So once the herbs are in there, the spices, we'll finish with a little bit of cracked pepper. So again, it's salt, pepper, uh, sage, fresh thyme, rosemary, poultry spice. You can even get it all together in that little pack at the stop and spend, boom. So there that is. And the one other component is we're gonna put an onion in. What are we doing with the onion? We are using the onion to help the oil not to scorch. Uh, it's gonna absorb some of the heat. And um, we're gonna see if it, uh, if it adds a little oniony flavor to our peanut oil as the turkey cooks. So basically I just peeled that and we're gonna give it a little bit of a star cut. Not all the way through. Notice I left the root on, okay. Let's prepare the turkey itself. You've got the back flap out. This is actually the neck area. You've got the neck, which they put into the butt area for some reason. I don't know why they feel the necessity to sort of disgrace the turkey in that regard, but we'll get beyond that. Um, and the, a lot of turkeys come with this little plastic flappy thing. I was tempted to try to see if it would make it. It's my first time frying a turkey, but uh, I don't think so. So. Again, we patted it dry, we shook it out, we're gonna pull out the little oven popper thing because you know we don't wanna, frying plastics isn't a good idea either. And we're just gonna take our knife and cut in along underneath the skin on the breast here a little bit. And we sort of just freed it up enough to be able to stuff in some of our rub. We're gonna put a little olive oil, what's that, two tablespoons in our rub, mix it up. Got the Cajun, we've got the, the poultry seasonings, some fresh herbs, that smells like a holiday right there. Boom, and look at that. Tucked up under the skin, work it back towards the back of the breast. The cartilage will start to give it up where you can get your hand in there. And then just sort of reform it on. And then we'll go around the outside. Now to the next side, which you would think was the butt side, but eh, we don't need to get into that again. I'm gonna show Put a little bit up in there. Rub some on the legs. Rub some on the back. Don't forget to get in the armpit. And there we go. Gonna give the hands a quick little wash and we're ready to drop it in the oil. Last thing we're gonna do, one last little hit with the pepper. Don't forget the onion right on into the cavity. And I think I'm gonna tuck these wing tips in and under, because the bird's gonna present a little better when it comes out. So again, one last little shake. We'll hold it by the butt flap. Make sure that we're totally void of any running liquid, nothing else happening there. And then we're gonna to have to get this out when it's done. So let's get this net in and underneath and drop it on in. Come take a look. Nice and slow. Remember to leave plenty of room for the turkey. And there it goes.
All right, you want to be totally immersed, make sure she's good and covered, so we got enough oil in there. Cover it on up. Now periodically I'm going to check this oil temp. I don't want to get up much over 400, 405 tops, 375 might even be a better cruising altitude for this bird. We're going to check it out. Um, about three minutes a pound, or so it says uh, on the Crayol site that I checked on this. So we're estimating 35, 40 minutes, 45 minutes, at a half an hour we'll give it a look. We'll see how we did. Stay tuned. Been a half an hour, even at the, with this commercial stove at full blast, uh, at 300 degrees with the oil. Um, so we're still we're still holding that. You can see the onion is popping up out of it, and we're definitely going to lose the butt flap. But uh, she's doing really well in there. It's it's golden brown. The smell is awesome. I mean, just awesome. I think it's done. It looks done. Smells done. Let's see if we can get it out of here in one piece. All right. The handle's gonna be hot. Again, safety first, so make sure we're grabbing stuff with towels and whatnot. And we'll see if the leg can help us pull this up. Oh, it's beautiful. Let's let it uh, drain over the oil for a moment. Use your towel. Remember, this bird is full of hot oil, folks. And right down on to our paper towels, we're gonna let it drain out a little bit. Again, don't get too excited. Don't start jumping around with the bird until your pot is safely in the back. Tell the kids, stay away from the stove, rope it, fence it, do it on the back deck. Let's see what kind of bird we have. Oil is pretty much all drained out, padded out. Um, our onion is still in there. Boy, it's nice and crisp. So let's pull that out. Or, you know, just leave it in when you serve it, I guess that would have been the thing to do. But we are gonna try it. Where we pull back the skin to rub the breast. I don't know if I do that again. I think maybe too much exposure, we'll leave that in. But maybe not, we got the whole back of the breast here. That's all still covered. Of course, you start with the with the cutting into the thigh, just like any other bird, and it'll snap right out. Then let's take the joint of the wing. Whoop. Just sort of roll that out as you hit in, in the joint. And that will leave us on both sides, of course, with the breast. Now to cut the breast, just like you normally would, of course, right down this breastbone until you hit the wishbone in the back. Wow, this is like crispy, awesome skin. Ooh, this is gonna be good. And then just sort of break it off of the breast. If it's cooked all the way through like this one is, it should just break right off of the breastbone and the rib meat. And wow, this is hot, but boy, that is good. Cut the whole breast out. And then you can just plate it up Cut the leg out, the thigh. Let's see how we did. Ooh. It's hot. It's good. A little spicy. That's different. The Cajun thing, the skin is awesome. Real crispy. Mm. Pork rind, fresh, but 10 times better. And even the breast meat, so moist. Now mind you, I just pulled this out, but still, I think the immersion in the oil, even the white meat holds its moisture better. And it's fabulous. Well, the best part is this bird cooked in less than an hour and the whole oven is at your disposal. I'm definitely frying one this year. You should too, now that we all know how. Like it, love it, share it. Down in Louisiana, tell me how bad I screwed this up. Cook one for Thanksgiving, folks. You'll be glad you did.